Yo, what's up, Kang? Hope you're all doing well. So, once this MLB lockout ends, and who knows when it's going to end, but I'm obviously going to keep you updated on that, everything. So, if you want hot stove, you want stuff that pertains, you want to know what's going on with the lockout and, and everything else, baseball-wise, hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet. And hit that notification uh, as well so that you know all the videos that pop out. Free agency trades, it all works. International signings, minor league stuff, whatever it is, especially with the Yankees. So... And my 161 Mafia, you the best. I appreciate you all. But I want to dedicate this video today to to the fans, to you guys, because uh, nice and chilly out here. Um, the reason why is, you know, at the end of the day, once this lockout's over, again, the people at the top are going to do really well. But the people who get short get shorted a lot of the fans because it's really expensive to go to baseball games, right? And for those that are out of town, I'm using the Yankees as an example. People travel from other places, different states to come to games and <clears throat> to come to a Yankee game. You know, you know, they put an extra day on their vacation so they can go to a Yankee game. Or, you know, a couple years ago, I came, uh, my birthday, I went with a bunch of my friends, a bunch of people I teach karate with, and a bunch of my friends from New York. We all went to a Yankee game together. And it was it was awesome. And I'll never forget it. And uh, it was the greatest experience. My mom set it all up. So I thank her for that. And, um, so even though they got their butts kicked by the Minnesota Twins, it was still an awesome experience. And those are my other friends who had never been to Yankee Stadium loved it. It was really, really cool. But that said, you know, you know everybody knows how much it costs to go to a game, how much it costs to do this, how much it costs to do that. you gotta, you got to factor in travel. You have to factor in parking, transportation, whatever it is. It adds up, layers and layers and layers of payments. And when you look at, you know, on t whether you're on TV and you see empty seats behind home on plate, or you go to a game and there's thousands of empty seats in the stadium during the week and even sometimes on the weekends, that shows a lot of fans, you know, are, are getting shut out. And I'm not talking about season ticket holders. Season ticket holders are season ticket holders, but there's a lot of unsold tickets to games, and mainly because they're so expensive. So, and I like to use the Phillies as an example because they do, you know, and my, my wife and her family are Phillies fans, her and her dad especially, but um, they do stuff like Dollar Hot Dog Night and, and little promotions like that to make it affordable for people. And and again, you, you can bring people who would normally not be able to afford to come to games, <clears throat> to come to games, or they do 10 game packages where you can get a ticket for 10 bucks for a game and you get 10 of them and it's pay 100 bucks, you got to go to 10 games. and. And then, you know, how much it costs to go to a game at Yankee Stadium to the field level? Hundreds and hundreds, sometimes thousands of dollars. So, wouldn't it be cool if the Yankees, who have a massive um, community, whether it be on social media or YouTube or whatever it is, did a blast and say, okay, I'm going to fill some seats, okay? And think about it this way. I mean, over the last two decades, their revenues have gone through the roof and their payroll has generally stayed the same, but they have not had the highest payroll in the major league since 2013. So almost a decade. And over the last almost two decades, the revenues um, or the pay or the payroll as it relates to revenues has become an increasingly smaller part of their overall, overall revenues and profits over these years. So they're swimming in profits, okay? They have not crying poverty at all, okay? So something to keep in mind, but, you know, how, how, how can you... How can you, you know, continue to make the money that they're making, but increase the fan experience, enhance the fan experience? Because at the end of the day, it's about the fans. They're the ones who, who pay for these people's salaries and your salaries and whatnot. So, and with with so many empty seats, you know, you have a lot of good people in all the five boroughs and all the surrounding states who want to go to Yankee games but can't afford to. Well, what if they did something like, you know, 24 hours before the game, you say we have such and such amount of seats at field level. 10 bucks, such such uh, the rest of the seats at other levels, five bucks. You might be able to get a couple extra thousand people. Yeah, at the end of the day, it's probably, you know, it's, it's pocket money for the Steinbrenners. But remember, people are going to also, if they can afford to go to games now, they can also afford to, oh, they'll be more willing to spend money on food and merch and things like that. So the layers and layers of revenue are going to keep coming in for the Yankees. But at the end of the day, why not make it a, a better fan experience? There's so many people who would love to come to games, but can't, aff can't afford to. You know, there's so many people who would love to do a happy birthday shout out to their son or daughter on the live Jumbotron. My mom did it for me a bunch of years ago. It was really cool. But <clears throat> who can't afford to do that? Or a guy would like to propose to his, his girlfriend at Yankee Stadium because she's a diehard Yankee fan. They can't afford to go to game. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. This opens up so much more opportunities to <clears throat> get a lot more fans in the, in the stands. And the bottom line, the way I see it too, this new stadium is awesome, but it's not as loud as the old Yankee Stadium. Not even close. The old Yankee Stadium was an absolute zoo. 
Okay, it was nothing like it in the world. I've never seen anything like the old Yankee Stadium. And guess what? You want to make it a little bit more similar to that? Get more fans in the stands. You know, you got a lot of good people who would want to come to games. And again, because they can't afford to, they don't go to the games. This is a way of enhancing the fan experience while still getting the revenues driven into the franchise and whatever else. But why not do that? Why not do a social media blast on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook or whatever? You have millions of people who follow you on there. And again, I, don't, I know they're not going to listen to me. I'm just some random YouTuber who, who's a Yankee fan. But like, this stuff is common sense. You can get a lot more fans here. And at the end of the day, they're still going to make a boatload of money. But why not? Why not do something like this? You promote it uh, the day before, and you get a boatload of people who would be willing to buy tickets or whatnot. Especially people who who live in the boroughs who didn't know, who didn't think they could afford it. Now, by because they're following the Yankees on Instagram, no. Oh wow, they're promoting this. Oh, I can go to a game. I can take my son to it. I can take whatever. I can take my mom to a game. Whatever it is, this can get a lot more people in the stands. And why, at the end of the day, would you not want to make the fan experience better? So that's the way I look at it. And again. They probably could care less. Some of you might not even care less, but you know, to me, I'm about the fans. Like I, I, you know, even on this channel, I think it's important that the fans of this channel enjoy themselves. Well, I think I feel the same way about Yankee fans at Yankee games, and there should there shouldn't be people shut out of games. Last thing I want is uh, just corporations and corporate boxes and stuff like that around the stadium with a bunch of empty seats. That's not fun, okay? You know, you want Stanton hit a big bomb or Garrett Cole maybe throw a no hitter one day. I want the stadium packed. There, or if they win the World Series, want the stadium packed, full capacity, like all the time. So, and there's no reason why they can't do that, even on a Tuesday night, whatever the hell it is. So, just might take a little bit on this, but I think you know the Yankees. Would be, it would behoove the Yankees. It'd be wise, a good idea for them to start doing things like this, but a little bit more often, even if it's once a week or whatever it is, or once a month. You get a hell of a lot more fans in the stand, and in the stands. When they when you know when they see that they can actually afford to and you and you're looking out for them too, why not? You guys let me know what you let me know what you think. If there's any other way to enhance the experience and stuff like that, I think it's important. That's why I'm bringing up this video. So I'll talk to you next time.